Hi, welcome to another breathing session. We keep exploring new variations. We'll do another uneven triangle today. The last of these relative to holding full. I hope that you're noticing the differences when we make slight alterations, not only to the length of each side, but also to how each alteration impacts upon the other sides, especially when we hold full for longer, as we did in the last session. And we'll do that again today. First of all, sit up straight, close your eyes. Have a deep breath. Hopefully you're in the right frame of mind, ready to do this session well, with mindfulness. Hopefully you've been using the 15 minute yoga stretch sessions as preparation for the breath work sessions. That will give you much better results and you will learn much faster and understand the changes more. Let's bring some presence of mind right now to this moment. Feel your body. We call it my body, your body, my body. We label it that as though we are the owner of this body and yet, nowhere on this body is it written a name, a person. In reality, all it is, is a whole lot of molecules and atoms vibrating. There's a particular energy to this shape that gives it the suggestion of form, structure, and yet the body is just another thing that the mind has labelled. This body is made up of skin, flesh and bones. They have been labelled so. Let's get a sense of this labelled skin that wraps around the exterior of the body. You can feel it around the face and head, these labelled parts, the labelled arms, the labelled back, the labelled front, and the labelled legs. The skin that wraps around the exterior of this labelled body. Try to sense it, the apparent feeling of it. And then, beneath the skin, we have the labelled flesh of the body. All the fleshy parts, muscle organs, cartilage, tendons, all these little labelled parts of this larger labelled body. See if you can feel that. And then beneath the labelled fleshy parts we have the labelled skeleton the bones, all these little labelled parts of a structure of a labelled body that seems to be here as a solid structure right now, a 
seems to be breathing. And you have a labeled mind, labeled by thought, and labeling this whole apparent construction as me. Perhaps one day you could question whether the assumptions we make about ourselves and others are true. What we think is real may be unreal. Have a big breath in and a deep sigh. Okay, open your eyes. How did you go with that? If you haven't been doing the mind training videos, you might find that a bit strange or out of place, but we're working on that sort of stuff. Okay. So, in the previous session, we did an uneven triangle of in for one count, holding full for four counts, out for two counts, and it might have been a little bit difficult. This one, you may also find a little bit difficult in a slightly different way. So, we're going to hold at the top again for four, and we're switching the numbers on the in and out sides. So now it is in for two counts, hold for four counts, out for one count. Now they are just the ratios, two, four, one. And so you can increase multiples of that. You might breathe in for four, hold for eight, breathe out for two. Or you can go larger as long as you stick to the ratio. And usually you should find that once you can be holding full for 16, then you will understand the feeling of the other sides better with the ratios accordingly adjusted. So you've got to keep within the boundaries of your capacity, of course. Anyway, you just do what you can, learn what you can, get a sense of whatever you get a sense of. Okay, so make sure you're breathing as usual, always through the nose, always getting to full and down to empty, and therefore breathing at different speeds to reflect the ratios. Two, four, one. Sit up straight, have good posture, close your eyes, have a deep sigh. <sighs> Exhale down to empty. And then let's take some time with this practice.
Keep going with the practice. If you're getting out of breath, then your numbers are too high. Drop your numbers back, try to make it as light and comfortable as possible. Otherwise, it will be too strong for you and you won't be able to distinguish the subtle effects. So if you're getting out of breath, stop, have a sigh, wait until your breath settles and your heart rate is stable, easy and relaxed. One thing you can try is to do single rounds where you just do one round and then have a little rest and then do another and then have a rest. If that's more suitable for you, you can try that.
last round. Take your time. Once you're finished, have a sigh and then just sit in a restful way. Sigh. Well done. It's another strong practice. Not easy at all. Maybe it was for you. Generally what we'll find is there's a lot of pressure with that one. Especially if you're trying to give yourself more time for the in and out sides and therefore holding longer at the top and once you're holding longer at the top the pressure is going to build so it's good to place yourself under that subtle level of pressure it's internal pressure it's not like the pressure of life which is related to the external world this is an internal practice and yet still for your mind and your psyche, it's just the experience of a moment in time and the feeling of being under pressure. And as you learn to be more relaxed about this, this will help you in your life when you are under pressure, when you feel pressure building. Okay, thanks very much, I hope you like that practice, maybe. You might want to lie down for five minutes at the end of this video. Just take a bit of rest. Okay. Thanks very much.